Hello everybody, welcome back to the Glossika channel. We're just giving you a new update for this week. Uh, I've been very busy working on uh, tokenization, uh, especially we have a, a tool that we've built in the background called Metagraph. Uh, as the name suggests, it's a, it's a Greek word. It just means like transcription. So the, the tool that we're using is called Metagraph. And I build a lot of programs in Metagraph to help with transcriptions and also to analyze sentences to find out which vocabulary are in a sentence um, and what is the, the level of that vocabulary. So for just English alone, we have uh, more than 100,000 uh, uh, multi-word expressions and collocations and also split um, phrases that we uh, detect in sentences. And then, um, for example, a language like Japanese, we have almost 200,000 kinds of uh, collocations. And so we're, we're always building up those databases. And so there's a lot of work that we do in Metagraph specifically. And our teams, they do a lot of tagging work. So, for example, um, we're getting ready to, to add new content onto the Glossika platform. Now, the reason why we built Viva is in order to help the Glossika platform expand and grow that content. So for example, if you're learning German or Spanish or French or Russian and you find, oh, there's not much content left in the level that you're learning, we're planning on just uh, going real deep uh, with all kinds of different, uh, different kinds of content, um, categories, and levels. So for example, I just uh, inserted a sentence in here, the athlete entered the tournament in, attempt, in an attempt to win first place. Now this sentence is analyzed by our Metagraph program and says, the sentence is a level seven sentence, which means it's a B2 sentence. So when we push that sentence through to Viva and the translators, let's say the French translator is on there, he translates the athlete into the tourna tournament in an attempt to win first place, then that sentence uh, is then processed, post-processed, and then gets pushed out onto the Glossika platform and you have new content to learn. Um, the other thing to remember though, is that uh, we are also, intending to add a lot of content from other languages uh, and then provide those translations back in English. So we have very specific sentences that are related to just, just Japanese culture or something that would only be said in Japanese. And so the, the use of this um, Metagraph tool in addition, in combination with the Viva platform, helps us create all of that production work much more smoothly. Um, we're, we can also provide um, the, the frequency word lists for various languages and push those through. Now, all of this takes a lot of time. Like we're literally managing hundreds and 200, 300,000, you know, in, in numbers of tokens in a single week. So um, we've already done quite a lot of work this week, but it, it seems like we have a lot more work to do. Now, when we launched Viva, we sent out a notification to everybody and we got um, around a thousand signups overnight. And we already have over a thousand tests that we need to check and go through. So some of the languages, that have started to come through. In addition to all the major languages we have on the platform, but we've, we've been getting languages like Basque and Tamil, even some German dialects like Westphalian, Bavarian, um, Napolitano or South Lucanian, and Italian, um, you know, like Na Na Naples, Napolitano, yeah. uh, Maltese. Uh, also languages like Interlingua and Esperanto are starting to show up. Uh, Mandarin dialects like Qingdao dialect, um, Navajo, Bujanese, Sundanese of Indonesia. So we're getting languages from around um, India, um, from, I think Navajo also showed up, and so some uh, uh, American Indian languages, um, some dialects within Europe, and then also many of the major languages. So we've got, um, you know, Arabic and Russian and French all have like a uh, multiple number of people signing up uh, to help out on the Viva platform. So thank you everybody for signing up. It's gonna take us a little bit of time to go through all of those applications and get everybody in to Viva. Uh, once you get in, you can start doing your translation recording work in there. And we're also in the process of pushing through a lot of new uh, content into the Viva platform. And then also uh, a lot of the red flagged material as well as getting updated and fixed. So that's our update for this week. Um, was there anything else that I was going to mention? All right, so the, the last thing that I almost forgot to mention, you guys, was um, a, the language Finnish. Uh, what we have on Glossika right now is Finnish as a colloquial Finnish uh, language. And so if you go on to Viva and you look at the Finnish languages and dialects, what we're going to do is we're going to move that colloquial over to the dialect um, that the, the original uh, 
a recorder. She tra she translated and recorded that language as as a dialectal or colloquial version of Finnish because Finnish has very long words and they only use those long words in the standard, for example, in broadcasting. So if you're signing up for Finnish, please choose the dialect that you speak if you want to do colloquial. If you're going to record in the standard, we're going to uh, separate that course as a standard Finnish where you have to pronounce all of the long words, the longer versions of everything. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for Eastern Armenian because right now you can see that Ruby text in both languages and we're going to, we're in the process of removing that and getting that everything sorted out for you guys. All right, so that's the end of our update.